Hi, Mike. Hey there. How are you? Good. How are you, Yvonne? Good. Can you do me a favor? Hold on yeah. one second. Can you hear me? Yeah. Can you make me the host real quick? I want to see if I can get music on in the background. Uh, yep. Hold on. Okay. How do I do that? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, we do it through the studio, but I, I haven't. I don't need to use music. I just thought if I could, I would. No, that's fine. Hold on, let me. Um, if we can't take, do it, it's not that important, you know. Let me take a look. Okay. Let me close my. Yeah. Can you give me another glass of water? Um, I, 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 I don't see where to do it, Yvonne. Okay. Um, I mean, I, I know earlier, like uh, when we did one of the other workouts, we can, so like everybody puts you in speaker view, so it, it you'll be the one talking, so it'll be your screen playing. So yeah. if you have music in the background, we should be able to hear it. I'm going to try. I'll see what happens, okay? okay. All right. Thanks, babe. Do you hear it? Can you hear it? Mike, can you hear me? Oh, yeah. Yep. Do you hear the music? Lightly. Do you hear any music? Faintly? Yep, faintly. Yep. It'll be fun. Are you doing it? I'm gonna do the next one. Okay, cool. Cool. Good. Thank you, Jack. So thank you, honey. Nice, good. Hey, Yvonne, I'm not sure if you saw but for the next session, I had to push it a couple minutes because it wouldn't let me set up back to back. That's perfect. I was wondering that, you know? Yeah, it wouldn't let me set it. It kept saying it, I was overlapping another meeting, so. Yeah, 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 that's good, that's perfect. A couple minutes, I figure it gives you a break too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I thought that was good. Yeah, because I thought I'd have to end this a little early. Do you yeah. know what I mean, to get this, so it works out fine. Good. I actually have a lot in here that I don't know if I'll get it all in, but that's, a, that's okay. They'll have fun with it, I think. Good. Yeah. Now we got a good crowd on here already, so. I used Jack and Cole as my guinea pigs. They were gonna be my demonstrators, and then I had to cut them out. I was like, no, like, just, you can't demonstrate. <laughs> they were goofing off too much. They were like goofing off with each other, so. <laughs> yeah, they're watching me through the doors. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, let us in, let us back in.
Yeah, so we're Yvonne, we're good to go whenever you're ready. Looks like we got about 45 people on here. So great oh, crowd. Wow. Um, so girls, boys, moms, dads, everybody that's out there, Craig Shield, better be, see you doing this. This is Miss Yvonne, and she is the mother of one of our players in the club, Big Red, as he as he's affectionately known. He's famous. <laughs> So we're going to turn Love it over to Miss Siobhan and have a great time. All right. Thanks, Mike. Yep. Hi, guys. Can everybody give me a thumbs up? Can you hear me? Just to make sure everybody can hear me. Awesome. All right. We're going to get started in a minute, okay? But first, I just want to tell you a little bit about yoga, okay, and why it's good for you. Yoga is more than just about stretching, okay? More than just about stretching. Okay, yoga is a way to use your breath so that you can calm your mind and relax your body, okay? Not only does it help prevent injuries, but it also helps you get that little extra bit so you can get your toe on the ball, right? So there's just a little extra bit to maybe break up a play or make a great play happen, right? It also helps you understand how to use your breath so that if you're in a moment where you're nervous, like you're getting ready to take a penalty shot or something, where you can learn to work with your breath so that you can calm down and relax and get a good shot off, okay? So it helps you in lots of ways. And for you boys out there, you might think that yoga is just for girls, but it's not, okay? There's a lot of professional athletes that do yoga, like LeBron James and Shaquille O'Neal and Messi and Ronaldo and De Bruyne, you name it, they do it, okay? The entire USA girls team, Olympic team does yoga every day together as a team. That's part of their practice, okay? So you're starting now and you're just kids. So you're like way ahead of the game, all right? But first, we're going to get started, okay? We're going to be on our mats. We're going to get started with child's pose, okay? That's our first posture. So I want to make sure that you can see me here. Let me lower this back down. All right. So in yoga, when we use our breath, we're gonna use, breathe in through our nose and out through our nose, okay? Can we all do that together? Breathe in through your nose and out through your nose, okay? That takes a little bit of practice, in through your nose and out through your nose, all right? We're gonna start with child's pose so that we can all relax ourselves and calm our minds a little bit. So your toes are together and your heels are apart. You wanna sit back on your heels. Bring your arms over your head. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale and lower yourself down so that your forehead is on the floor and your arms are extended out in front of you. Keep your forehead on the floor. Keep your arms extended out of you far from you and breathe in through your nose and out through your nose. And it's very important that you breathe in nice, deep and slow. All the air in and all the air out. All the air in, all the air out. Keep your forehead on the floor. I'm just watching you on the screen. Keep your forehead on the floor. Stretch your fingertips far forward away from your body. Far forward away from your body. Take a couple nice deep breaths in one more time. Take a nice deep breath in and exhale, let it all out. And now I want you to count your breath. I want you to try to breathe in for a count of six and breathe out for a count of six. Okay, we're gonna do it together. Breathe in, one, two, three, four, five, six. Breathe out, one, two, three, four, five, six. Breathe in, one, two, three, four, five, six. Breathe out, one, two, three, four, five, six six and take a nice deep breath in and gently come back up to a seated position good 
From here, we're gonna move into Cobra Pose, okay? Always working with your breath in through your nose and out through your nose. Lie down on your stomach so that you're flat on the floor. I want you to come up onto your forearms so that your elbows are underneath your shoulders. You're on your elbows, your hands and elbows are on the floor and your elbows are underneath your shoulders. Your tops of your feet should be nice and flat on the floor. Take a nice deep breath in, exhale, and lift up and look up towards the ceiling. Get a nice stretch in your neck and keep breathing in through your nose and out through your nose. In through your nose and out through your nose. One more time, in through your nose and out through your nose. Now bring your head down so that you can see me. I want you to bring your feet up. Think you can see my feet? Yes. And now with your breath, I want you to look back up to the ceiling. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale and look up towards the ceiling. You can feel that nice stretch in your lower back, right? That gets tight if you're sitting all day. So it feels really good to lift your feet up, lift your head up just like that. In through your nose and out through your nose. Very important that you keep breathing all the air in and all the air out. Couple more good big breaths here. Three more big breaths. Breathe in, one, two, three, four, five, six. Breathe out. One, two, three, four, five, six. Breathe in. One, two, three, four, five, six. Breathe out. One, two, three, four, five, six. One more time. Breathe in. One, two, three, four, five, six. Breathe out. One, two, three, four, five, six and slowly lower your feet down. Good. And you're gonna come up to a tabletop position. Come up, hands underneath your shoulders. So your hands are shoulder distance apart and your hands are underneath your shoulders. Your knees are underneath your hips and hip distance apart. This should look like a table, right? Your back should look like the top of a table. You're gonna do a cat-cow pose. You're gonna breathe in and round your back and exhale, lift your head and your bum up towards the ceiling. Breathe in, round your back. Breathe out, lift your head and your bum up towards the ceiling. Breathe in, round your back. And exhale, look up and lift your bum up towards the ceiling. Three more times, breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in, round your back. Breathe out, lift your head and butt up. And one more time, breathe in, round your back. And breathe out, lift your head and bum up. Good job, guys. Come back to tabletop. We're gonna do a downward dog now. Curl your toes under and lift yourself up so that you're on your hands and your feet. I'm gonna turn to the side so you can see me. You should look like a V, right? Your hands are on the floor and your feet are on the floor. Take a nice deep breath in, exhale, and look down at your knees for down dog. Breathe in and breathe out. Really press your heels into the back of your mat. Remember Miss Nancy was talking about touching your toes? Pressing your heels into the mat is gonna help you do that one day. Press your heels into the mat. In through your nose and out through your nose. In through your nose and out through your nose. Now we're gonna do a three-legged dog. Keep your hands on the floor. 
Keep your left foot on the floor and lift your right leg up off of the mat. Your left leg is straight, your elbows are straight, and your right leg is lifted way up nice and high up off of the mat. And keep breathing in through your nose and out through your nose. In through your nose, out through your nose. One more time, in through your nose and out through your nose. Bring your right foot back down onto the floor. And now the left side, three-legged dog. Lift your left leg up, 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 nice and high. Keep your right leg nice and straight and use your breath. In through your nose, out through your nose. In through your nose, out through your nose. In through your nose, and out through your nose. And bring your left leg back down onto the mat. Good job. Bend your knees. Come back into your tabletop position. And back into cat cow. Take a nice deep breath in and round your back. Exhale, look up and lift your butt up. Inhale, round your back. Exhale, look up and lift your butt up. And one more time. Inhale, round. And exhale, lift. Good. All right, guys. You know how your feet are always squished in your soccer shoes, right? Your soccer shoes are nice and tight, fitted to your foot. This is really good for the toes. Really good for the muscles in your feet and your ankles. Curl your toes under and sit back down on your heels. You see my toes here? On my top of my foot is not on the floor. My toes are curled under and I'm sitting back down on my heels. Hero pose, toe squat. Place your hands on your thighs. Toes curled under, breathe in through your nose, breathe out through your nose. Take your right hand and bring it behind your back with your hand facing the back wall. Take your left hand, put it on your right waist and turn all the way to the right. And breathe in through your nose and out through your nose. Breathe in really big, deep and slow. Turn and face the front. Hands back on your thighs. Keep your toes curled under. Keep going. Bring your left hand up. Bring it behind you, face the back wall. Bring your right arm up, bring it onto your left waist. Take a nice deep breath in, lift up and look all the way to your left. Keep your chin proud, not tucked and not lifted, nice and straight ahead. And breathe all the air in and all the air out. Change, turn and face the front, place your palms on your thighs just like that. And now I want you to come down onto your butt and we're gonna come down into a butterfly position. Your toes are together, the balls of your feet are together and your heels are together. And you wanna bring your feet in as close to your body as you can. And take your hands and place it on the outside of your feet and really hug your feet together. Give your feet a nice little hug with your hands. And use your elbows if you can and push your knees down towards the floor best you can. If you're having a little trouble, if one leg is lower than the other, you can shake out your legs a little bit, fly your butterfly. Try to get your knees a little closer to the floor. Yes, good. 
Keep going. Now use your breath, okay? Count with me. Take a nice deep breath in to six. And exhale, blow it out. One, two, three, four, five, six. Deep breath in. Lift your heart up. One, two, three, four, five, six. And exhale. One, two, three, four, five, six. One more time. Inhale. One, two, three, four, five, six. And exhale. One, two, three, four, five, six. Good. Keep your feet there. I'm going to show you now the flower pose, okay? It takes a little bit of balancing. You're going to bring your feet away from your body just a little bit, but your toes are touching, balls of your feet are touching, your heels are still touching. You're going to lift your feet up off the mat and see my hands? I'm going to bring them between my legs and hold my feet from the outside. So I'm balancing right there on my butt bones, keeping my chest lifted. Knees apart, you can use your elbows to push your knees apart if you can. Keep your toes together, balls of your feet together, heels together, and keep breathing. Don't worry if you don't get it the first time, keep trying. I see that, you're trying, that's great. Keep working at it. Keep your chest lifted, keep breathing. Balance there. If you're having trouble with balance, Try focusing your eyes on one small little spot. And re everyone, remember your breath. All the air in and all the air out. Slow down your breath. All the air in, all the air out. Keep going. Stay lifted. and gently lower your legs back down onto the mat. You can come into windshield wipers. Bring your feet in the, and knees in front of you and just wind, windshield wiper your knees. That feels good on your hips after you're doing postures like that. Good, we're gonna come down into our bridge pose. You can look at me here in the computer before you get started. I'm gonna show you from the side. You lie down on your back, feet flat on the floor, ankles underneath your knees, your palms are on the floor. You're gonna lift your hips up and bring your arms underneath your body the best that you can. All right, so bend your knees. Lie down on your back, everybody. Feet or hip distance apart, bend your knees so your ankles are underneath your knees. Palms are on the floor. Take a nice deep breath in, exhale, and lift your bum up off of the floor. Yes, and bring your arms underneath your body the best that you can. Can you get your hands closer together underneath your body? That's good, press your palms into the floor. Look forward, see if you can see the tops of your knees. Tuck your chin to your chest, see if you can see the tops of your knees. Keep your belly pulled in and keep breathing. In through your nose and out through your nose, right? Remember that breathing, count of six. Breathe in, one, two, three, four, five, six. Breathe out, one, two, three, four, five, six. Breathe in. One, two, three, four, five, six. Breathe out. One, two, three, four, five, six. One more time. Breathe in. One, two, three, four, five, six. Breathe out. One, two, three, four, five, six and slowly lower down good now from 
This posture, you're gonna go into happy baby, okay? You can watch me and I'm gonna show you from the side. You gotta lie down on your back, bring your feet over your head and bend your knees. Grab your feet from the outside. So the tops of your feet, the flats of your feet are facing the floor and you're gonna pull your knees down all the way to your body the best that you can. Keep your chin tucked, keep looking up towards the ceiling. All right, go ahead, lie down on your back. Bring your legs out all the way up top towards the ceiling. Bend your knees and grab your feet from the outsides of your body, right from the outsides of your feet. And use your strength and pull your knees down all the way towards your shoulders. Tuck your chin to your chest and keep breathing. All the air in and all the air out. Once you get those feet, see if you can make like footprints on the ceiling, right? You want flat feet up towards the ceiling. And pull your knees down towards your shoulders and keep breathing. And once you get that, you can rock your baby side to side, right? Rock your baby side to side, holding on to your feet. Side to side, rock your baby, side to side. That's it, just like that. You guys got it, looks good. Keep breathing, keep rocking. Change, good, change. Bring your feet back down on the floor. Come down, spread your body out onto your mat, stretch it out. And now come back up to a seated position. This is your caterpillar pose. This is also gonna be really great to help you to get to touch your toes. So your feet are, and legs are out in front of you, okay? It's gonna look like this. You're gonna take a nice deep breath in, lift up. And exhale, you're gonna fold your body forward all the way down as much as you can, okay? And you're gonna keep breathing. Remember, it's okay to feel a little bit uncomfortable, but never okay to feel pain, okay? You only go down as much as you can. Keep your legs straight. You don't wanna bend your knees to get there. You wanna keep your legs nice and straight and keep breathing, okay? All right, here we go. Legs out in front of you. Everybody, arms over your head. You're going to use your breath to get stronger. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, slowly lower down. See if you can touch your forehead to your legs. It's okay if you can't get there. You keep breathing and keep reaching, right? Very important. Keep your legs nice and tight. That's it, Miles. Keep your legs strong. Keep your legs straight. Good, Ryan. Legs are straight. Keep breathing. Take a deep breath. Exhale and keep going. As you inhale, your body gets stronger. Exhale, your body relaxes. Keep looking at your toes. Look at your goal. Where's your goal? Your goal is your toes. Look at your toes and keep breathing and get closer. Every breath. You get a little bit closer. You're gonna to touch those toes sooner than you think. It might not be today, it might not be tomorrow, but maybe next week or the week after. Keep breathing, keep reaching. Use your breath. Breathe in, one, two, three, four, five, six. Breathe out, one two, three, four, five, six. Everybody come up together. We're gonna do it one more time for one last time. Take a nice deep breath in and exhale, go down one more time. Keep your legs straight. Reach forward with your fingertips all the way. Reach those fingertips forward and take a nice deep breath in and lift back up. Exhale, 
And one more time, take a deep breath in. Exhale, reach forward one more time. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, reach forward and lift up. And arms down by your sides. All right, we're gonna move into our twisted roots. All right, twisted roots. This is a good one. Look at me from the side. You're gonna lie down flat on your back. Your left leg is gonna stay on the floor. You're gonna bend your right knee. Take your left hand, bring it over your right knee and bring your right knee all the way down to the floor. And you're gonna look to your right side and stretch your right arm out, okay? I'm gonna watch you, I'm gonna walk you through it. Lie down on your back. Your left leg is long. Lift your right leg up towards the ceiling. Now bend your knee and take your right hand on the outside of your left knee and bring your right knee all the way to the left side of your body, all the way to the floor. Bring your knee all the way to the floor. And then take your right arm out, palm is on the floor, and look to your right hand. Look all the way to your right. See if you can see your right hand. So Miles, bring your right knee back up. Lie down, lie down back, yep. Yeah. And bring your right knee all the way over to the left side of your body. The other way. All the way over. Now stretch your right hand out and look all the way to the right. And breathe, remember your breath? All the air in, all the air out. Keep breathing. Change, come back to the middle, hug both knees to your chest, hug both knees to your chest. Now your right leg out in front of you, all the way down on the floor, lie down on your back, bend your left knee. You can see me, you can see my leg. Take your right hand on the outside of your right, on your left knee and bring your left knee all the way over to the right and stretch your left hand all the way over to the left and look at your left hand and keep breathing. That's it, Miles, you had it. Keep breathing, go back. Go back to where you were. And yes, keep your chin tuck, keep breathing. Use your breath, inhale for strength, exhale to relax. Inhale, exhale, all the air in and all the air out. All the air in and all the air out. One more time, all the air in and all the air out. Change, now bring both legs down onto the floor Stay flat on your mat. This is your dead body pose, relaxed pose. Heels together, toes apart. Arms are by your sides and your palms face the ceiling. Right? And use your breath, right? In for six and out for six. And try to stay as still as possible. Use your breath, stay as still as possible. And bring your right hand up and bring it over to your heart. And can you use your hand to tap your heart? Pump, 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 pump. Just tap your heart, right? Tap, 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 tap. tap. Tap, tap, and you can say this to yourself or you can say this out loud. Each and every day, 
I am getting better in each and every way. Say this out loud or say it to yourself. Each and every day, I am getting better in each and every way. And take a nice deep breath in. And exhale, blow it all out. Shh. And whenever you're ready, you can come back up to a seated position. I just want you to know you all did a wonderful job. You were so focused and did so great. And I'm thankful that you all came in here today. Okay, I'm glad to see all your faces. And I hope to see you again real soon, right out there on the fields. All right, guys, go on, have a great night. And I'll see Thank you again soon. Thank you. 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 Um, you guys are great. Thank you. 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 Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.